what happens if I take this delivery position where I've got my flat lead wrist, so much more force going in this direction towards the target. So in this video, we're gonna run through, I'm gonna show you just how you take that club face and you deliver it to the ball so it is square every single time, give you really straight shots, but you also are able to get that compression, get that squeeze feeling that the great players get that's gonna give you that increased ball speed, that greater distance, and that just higher satisfaction when you hit the shot. And we're gonna use the hanger to show you just how you achieve it. And there is something which is very often missing when we talk about impact and we talk about how to square the face. So I've got myself a six iron here, and if we were to think about a delivery position, a delivery position we would be sort of thinking about this position here, where the club shaft is around about level with the ground, and we are obviously just about to deliver the club to the ball. So if you think about what is present to put the club in that position, well, if I took an address, the way the club reaches that delivery position is we have some wrist set or wrist cock, which raises the club up, but we also have some forearm rotation, which moves the club around. Now, when I put those two things in, we suddenly find this delivery position. Now, we all get told, don't we, that a flat lead wrist is key. That keeps the club face square. You know, we talk about having that flat lead wrist at the top and that flat lead wrist here. And we also talk about having that flat lead wrist at impact. But it's not the full story because look what happens if I take this delivery position where I've got my flat lead wrist and I rotate and I uncock my wrist. Well, my lead wrist is pretty flat. I think we'd agree. But you can see from that face on that club face is way, way open. I mean, incredibly open. That ball's gonna go way right into there. The missing piece is, yes, we have to have this flat lead wrist, but from this position here, all I did was I uncocked my wrist. We also have to rotate that forearm back to where it started. That is what squares the face. So let me show you how we can demonstrate that using the hanger. And then I've got a couple of little exercises that I'd love you to try at home. So I've got the hanger just set onto my seven iron in its natural position. And what I can do is I can sort of use this and get myself into a really nice position halfway back where the inside of the hanger is against my forearm. That tells that my wrist is flat. We do want that wrist to be flat. But notice what happens when I get to this delivery position. From here, I have to uncock my wrist, but I also have to rotate my forearm. And it's that rotation of the forearm which is gonna square the face. But notice how this is still against my forearm. Having a flat lead wrist does not guarantee that that club face is gonna be square. I can have a flat lead wrist and still have that club face way, way open, hit huge slices, lose lots of balls and shoot some pretty high scores. It's the re-rotation of the forearm that's gonna help. So let me run through a little exercise and drill that you can do to help you feel and sense it. So the hanger is one of the best training aids I've found to help you with all areas of the game, be it full swing or even short game. And Watson Golf are giving you 15% off the hanger using the code Chris Ryan. You can see that on the screen there. And very simply, if you're not happy, they also give you a full money back guarantee. So I've got my impact bag here. Um, this is just filled with sheets, towels, covers, anything that I can find to put in there. I think these are brilliant. I use this a lot. So here's that exercise. I want you to first of all think about what your lead hand is doing. I'm going to find this delivery position here. Now notice where my thumb is pointing. It's pointing out horizontally away from me. For me to deliver the club, that thumb has to go down to the ground. I have to uncock that wrist. That's what sends the club head down to the ground. The ball is on the ground. But watch what happens to the logo on my glove. It faces the camera. As I push that thumb down, I have to rotate my forearm so the logo now faces back towards the fairway or the target. It's those two movements, the thumb down and the logo back, which is what is effectively my release. That's how I square the face. So what many of you will find is that from this delivery position, you would get the hanger against your forearm. That tells you your wrist is flat. But many of you, when you release the club, will release it this way. Okay, notice how now the hanger is away from that forearm. Now I can do that with a fair bit of force. Hanger has come away from my forearm. 
and notice how that bag has moved maybe three, four inches. Okay, not a huge amount. This is what I would love you to try. And this, if you can train this and work on this, this is absolutely gonna help you with all of the golf clubs in your bag, but especially with those irons. We're gonna take this. Thumb is gonna go down to the ground. Logo on my glove is gonna go back to my target. But just look at the difference, how I've maintained that contact. The hanger is still against my forearm. That's what gives me that square face, that compression, that de-lofted club, that high ball speed that we want. Now, because this is a very, very different release to this one, watch what happens when I hit the bag now. So much more force going in this direction towards the target. I didn't intentionally hit that bag any harder, but because of the way that I released that golf club, I was able to create a lot more force. Notice the hanger is still against my forearm. My thumbs are pointing down towards the ground and the logo is towards the target. It's that movement, which unfortunately has to happen in a millisecond, but it's that movement which is going to give us that really good solid impact. We want to get away from this. This is what many of you will be doing from this last delivery position into here, which is a very flicky one, or potentially you'll be uncocking the wrists, but leaving the face open. So we go here, thumbs down, logo at target. There's my solid strike, and I've got that device still against my forearm. After this, it might then start to leave as I go through to follow through, but it's that reference point that I really, really want. So an impact bag is really, really good to get that feel. All you then do, very simply, put the ball in. So I've got seven iron, I'm gonna find my delivery position. And then from here, thumbs down, logo at target. There's the end position. Ball flight has gone nice and straight and pretty low, which is what I want. It shows that I de-lofted the club. So using that hanger, I can pretty easily and quickly feel and sense what this perfect release is like. From last delivery, you still unfortunately have a lot to do. If you're perfect here, it doesn't guarantee anything. You can still mess this thing up and hit it way off to the right. So thumbs go down to the ground. Forearm re-rotates, flat wrist. Then we go through, hanger will be against that forearm. That's how you release the golf club. That's how the best players do it. And if you can train like that, you too can have that release. You'll start to see some better golf shots on the course. Ultimately, we can go ahead and make some full swings, adding those elements in. Okay, ball, turf, took my divot, ball flight was good, strike was good, distance, I think it was pretty good as well. So, get yourself a hanger, brilliant training device to work on so many different elements of your golf swing. Um, I'll link the other videos in the corner here. There was one on short game, and there was also one on how to achieve that flat wrist in your golf swing and in your down swing. So, thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below. I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts on this video, and also hit that subscribe button for future videos. Thanks for watching.